So if you look at our dividend policy, we've structured a dividend policy very much like Rand Gold. It's based on our success, on the amount of money on our balance sheet. It allows us to invest. It doesn't keep a lazy balance sheet. And, and there's a formula. So you can look at what you think gold going to be like. Look at our forecast. You know what your dividend is going to be. But we don't prefer dividends to investments. And as you know, we look for a 15% return at $1,200. Yeah, boy, you're going to make a lot of money. And copper, sir, is soaring. And you're able to turn on the jets and copper pretty much at will, can't you? Well, we, we're the only gold company that has 20% of our business in copper. And our, my focus is to keep on improving the quality of copper. You know, our gold assets are set. We own five of the top 10 best gold mines in the world. So we're a standout when it comes to best assets. We want to be the same as copper. All right, now, you did teach me that it does matter what natural gas costs and what oil costs. Do we have to worry that these can knock down your total return? Yes, in the short term, there, there, of course, there's impact. But remember, the gold price is going up for the same reason. Um, but I just point out that we recently uh, published our roadmap to get 30% reduction on greenhouse gas emissions. And that, that, that uh, roadmap comes with a 15% IRR. So we're not just investing to reduce our gas emissions just to be compliant. Right. It's good business, and it's giving us a return. It'll drop the cost, make us less dependent on the hydrocarbon. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.